In this video, you will be meeting people who work in water and wastewater careers. These are not actors. They are real people doing real jobs, and they will share their personal experiences with you. I used to be a manager at a subway in my hometown. Um, I did that for a year, and then I decided it was time to go back to school and, and figure out my path in life. <laughs> Ten years ago, I was uh, actually, I had just finished my first year of university. I was accepted into the U of A. I was going to go and uh, go for my Bachelor of Education. But during the summer, I had started working for the Municipality of Opportunity back home in Wabasca. Um, I was working as a summer student for about a couple months, and uh, the Public Works Department had a training position for a water treatment plant operator. I been working in the water industry for since 96. That's when I first got out in Sandy Bay as an operator. When I was in high school, I was always interested in the environmental aspect of water. I decided to take the course at Nate called Water and Wastewater Technician Program. It all started with going to SIAST here in Saskatchewan. I went and took the chemical diploma, which has really ended up helping me in this uh, journey towards becoming a water treatment uh, operator. The position was advertised and um, I applied and, and uh, I was hired as equipment operator and worked my way up through the, through the ranks of equipment operators. And as time went on, um, the, uh, the water treatment plant went through several operators and um, I just sort of fell into the job. I became the village operator. Uh, I had the opportunity to make an application in 2000. I was accepted and they uh, urged me to take on water courses. My background was a mechanical background. I was a heavy duty mechanic with a bus company in England. I first worked in the uh, collection, collection and distribution area and then I moved on to the treatment plant. So I do st strictly treatment and uh, so I've been with the town I think 27 years. I graduated high school I guess about five years ago. Um, didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life and did job after job and uh, then I motivated myself and got interested in a, in a career and went to school. I was working for a contractor in Kabul. This was before the Canadians moved to Kandahar. We were doing the infrastructure for the military base there. And we had a small uh, membrane treatment plant that serviced uh, a camp of about 2,000 soldiers. I start off my day uh, doing water quality analysis tests in the lab. We do um, a variety of tests. We do total hardness. We also test chlorine residuals and fluoride residuals and color and turbidity tests in the lab. And then we have daily monitoring. We, we run on a SCADA system, so it's, a lot of it's very computerized. So you have to make sure that everything double checks with your computer, make sure that what the computer is saying and what the plant's doing are, are pretty much the same thing. That's one of your first priorities. Then you have to go out and physically check the plant, make sure that the plant is doing what it, the computer says it's doing. When I started at the water treatment plant, I knew there would be a process involved, but I wasn't sure of how intricate it would be. The job itself offers you a whole slew of different things to do. I mean, there's hydraulics, there's chemistry, there's... It it's, it's keeps your mind busy as well as your, you know, having a certain amount of pride in what you're doing. Water treatment is really important to the community because there are pathogens and uh, bacteria within the water that always need to be taken out. And if it's not done properly, there can be consequences that will affect the whole community. Being an operator is an important job because we, as operators, have the responsibility of treating the water to provide to the community safe and clean and potable. Without operators, we wouldn't have these services and they're essential services to make our communities prosper. Well, community members all deserve fresh, clean, safe drinking water. As a circuit rider, I, I, it's my job to mentor operators 
to ensure that operators provide a safe, clean drinking water to the community members. Nowadays, I think people expect their water to be, you know, very good all the time. They, they don't want these uh, small occasions when, when uh, taste and odor problems uh, occur, but that, you know, I think they, they, they expect uh, a higher quality of water now than they did a few years ago. As an operator, we need to be responsible and dedicated to the job. We need to love our job and take it seriously. There's a lot of paying attention to detail. Um, my ears and my eyes and my nose are my number one tools when it comes to being in a plant. Senses are very important because you will use your scent or your eyesight to spot a problem before it gets worse. And uh, you definitely have to uh, be alert for when an emergency or situation happens. You have to be able to respond to it. Um, and besides being a team player, you do have to be able to work on your own and take control and be able to get the duties done. The person that needs or that is needed in a water plant is somebody that has physically fit, mechanical aptitude as well, and to be good in math. Uh, people coming into this field um, would require a grade 12 high school education. They need those level one, two and three to be an operator. The basic, the starting block is education, grade 12. It's pretty important to stay in school. I mean, if I didn't stay in school and I'd done before, if I quit before grade 12, uh, this window of opportunity would have wouldn't have never been open for me. So, um, you know, unless you work at it, at least finish grade 12, and and that'll open up so many more windows of opportunity for yourselves as well. Anybody can, um, you know, do a job half-heartedly. I mean, you they they might know the basic the basic um, moves that gets you through the day, but. To do the job to the best of your ability, that's the most important um, aspect. To be a circuit writer, you have to have good communication skills. You've got to be able to relate to the operators. Um, for me, being a First Nation circuit writer, I, it's easy for me to relate to some of the, even the personal struggles that a lot of the operators go through. In a small center, it's important for people to have dedication. You have to be proactive because you are by yourself. You have to take initiative and you have to make decisions. But for the most part, you know, there's nobody that's gonna be there at the end of the day to pat you on the back. But for me, I mean, it's just knowing, knowing that I've made a difference, you know, the community is gonna thrive. They're not getting bad water at all. They're getting good water as best possible as we could uh, provide to them. My job gives me a great sense of personal satisfaction. When I go home, I'm confident that I'm doing a good job and that my community is, is prospering because of me. There's a certain amount of pride in doing what you do. I mean, people take it for granted, but water is the foundational life, you know. I mean, you cannot survive on this planet without water. Nothing can. Yeah, it is noble work that, uh, to be a uh, water plant operator. Because you're, you're responsible so, for so many people that do drink the water, that do use the water. Like for your, for instance, your elders, your uh, children. I see water as a stable profession. It's a natural resource and we're always going to need it. I feel very secure in my job. I don't feel like I'll ever lose my job. We're always going to need water treatment operators to run our facilities and provide water to our community. Um, this is a lifelong career and I know that my job will never be taken away from me. Things are changing, the plants are getting bigger, more complicated, more sophisticated. So the, the workforce in water has grown and there are people who have retired. I think it's coming to a point where there are a lot of people who are going to be retiring at the same time. There's a lot of opportunity in the water industry right now. There's a lot of people moving on onto retirement and moving up into management positions, opening up other positions for us. 
I definitely got into this career at the right time and place. I love my job. I love what I'm doing. The best job I've ever had. I love my job. It, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's exciting. It, uh, work doesn't seem like work. Um, I like that I'm providing safe, clean, and aesthetically pleasing water to the general public of Edmonton and surrounding areas. It feels good to be able to do that. And uh, I like the people that I work with, and I definitely like learning new things every day. If you start from the beginning, you know, it, it's going to be a good career move. If I would have known this when I was a younger person, I'd be retired now. <laughs> water treatment. It requires an education to a certain degree, but it also provides education through its work. And it's a great starting point for a career or even a place to end up in the end. If you think that you'd like to be a water and wastewater professional, and you want to know more, then check out the online career center at the web listed at the end of this segment.